Employees get noticed, lose pay, and still save the day as a nursing home abruptly closes. Provider to pay nearly $1 million to settle meal break shift violation claims, and an Aurora, Colorado woman with dementia cited for trespassing after ringing the doorbell. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, June 26th, 2019. Stay in the know of Long-Term Care News. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The operators of an Ohio nursing home closed abruptly on Friday, giving its 55 residents and the state less than a day's notice that they would have to find new accommodations. An official with the Ohio Department of Health said that the staff who found out Thursday that they were not being paid for past work and losing their jobs were integral for staying on and helping residents transition quickly out of Rivers Bend Health Care. Many of the newly unemployed stayed overnight to make sure that the residents were safe and comfortable as possible. Although some employees told a local TV station that, that there had been rumors of a possible closure, the state heard nothing until about 11 a.m. on Thursday, the same time staff were asked to conduct an evacuation. The 80-bed facility was not full on Thursday and only had 56 residents at the time of its last health inspection in November. The inspection resulted in 20 citations, more than double the state average. The health department, along with the Ohio Department of Aging and the Ohio Department of Medicaid, were on site working with residents and families. Five Michigan skilled nursing facilities and an affiliated assisted living center have been ordered to pay back wages totaling almost $1 million following an investigation by the Department of Labor. Federal officials said the Detroit area Beaumont affiliated health and rehabilitation centers owed $915,223 to more than 1,300 employees because they automatically deducted meal breaks that some employees never took. Beaumont managers also failed to pay employees for time worked before and after scheduled shifts. Michigan has been focusing on wage theft with the creation in April of a payroll fraud enforcement unit by Attorney General Dana Nessel. In addition to paying the back wages, Premier Healthcare Management, which oversees the facilities, has agreed to conduct training for its employees to provide a fact sheet on residential care facilities to all employees and to conduct quarterly reviews of payroll and time records to ensure accuracy. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Nancy Doust came to Aurora Municipal Court Monday morning to face a trespassing summons, but the 60-year-old honestly had no idea where she was or why. Doust rang a doorbell while on a walk and received a trespassing citation. James Doust says his wife was diagnosed with advanced frontal temporal dementia at age 58. Her condition has deteriorated to the point that she's no longer capable of talking, but she does like to wander on walks. That's what led to her municipal summons. Aurora Police Department spokeswoman Crystal McCoy said the officer who wrote the ticket is sympathetic to Nancy's diagnosis of dementia, but said the officer had no choice. When a property owner wants a law enforced on their own property, this is not an area that we have discretion in, McCoy said. Municipal Judge Sean Day continued Nancy's court date for two weeks to give the city attorney and James Doust a chance to meet to see if the city attorney might be willing to dismiss the ticket. James said he normally walks with his wife, but on May 16th, the day she was ticketed, she managed to leave the house without his knowing. It's a disease, not a crime, James said. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.